Today we're going to be subtracting integers on the number line. It's not too hard to do, so pay close attention. But before we begin, let's learn a life lesson. Trust me, this life lesson is going to help you know what to do. In life, if you take away all the positive things, your life is going to get more negative. If you take away all the negative things, your life has to get more positive. Well, the same thing is true in math. Math is a lot like life. When you take away or subtract the positives, move in the negative direction. And when you take away the negatives, move in the positive direction. And just like adding, the first number tells you where to start. Alright, so let's start with a problem that we know. In this problem, it's 5 take away 2. So first of all we're going to go to 5. Once we get there we're going to think about this. We are taking away two positives. So if you're taking away the positive, head in the negative direction. And you'll end up at positive 3. Now that shouldn't be too hard to do. You know 5 minus 2 is 3. That's a good way to help you know what you're doing. Do a problem you know the answer to. Okay, for our next problem, we're going to start at negative 4. Then it says to take away two negatives, or negative 2. Well, if we're taking away the negative, that means we're heading in the positive direction. Heading in the positive direction. So we end up at negative 2. So when you take away the negatives, you head towards the positive. Okay, our next problem is negative 3 minus positive 7. So you'll start out at negative 3. Now this says to take away 7 positives. So if we're taking away the positives, that means we need to go in the negative direction 7 more. And look where we end up. We almost went off the number line we end up at negative 10. So taking away positives makes you go negative. Let's try this one. Negative 1 take away negative 3. So we go to negative 1. Now we're going to take away the negatives. Well if you take away the negatives that means you need to head in the positive direction. In this case we're going to go 3 towards the positive which means we end up at positive 2. So the answer to this one is positive 2. Okay, let's try the next one. Negative 2 minus negative 3. Or, excuse me, that was positive 2. What was I thinking? Positive 2 minus negative 3. So we go to the positive 2. We head to positive 2. Now we're going to take away three negatives. Well, if we're taking away the negatives, that means we're heading in the positive, and we end up at five. Positive five. Now that's the end of our lesson. So just remember, when you're subtracting in integers, if you take away the negative, head in the positive direction. And if you're taking away positives, head in the negative direction.